Yep, that is right. It is now time for Dumpster or No Dumpster on this Wednesday morning. The lovely Dr. Lori is back with us today. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Busy? Yeah, but hanging in there. It is a uh, busy time of year trying to, you know, soak up as much of the summer as possible because it goes way too fast. It goes way too fast. And then, you know, you have the whole thing of getting ready for the big holidays. You know, and I don't know. Every weekend in the summer is a holiday to me. I love the summer. <laughs> <laughs> I could not agree more. By the way, I, as always, I love your setup. I'm loving the, the picture behind you. I can't really make out what you've got on the table. And does it kind of incorporate with what you were thinking the, about here today? The table is all about outdoor summer games, croquet and badminton and such, right? You know, the stuff that you that you only get to play, really, the games you only get to play in summer with all your friends and family. So cookout oh. games, we used to call them. Good stuff. Well, you know what? I mean, you shared with us before games on Dumpster or No Dumpster, where we yeah. guess the $50 mark. Is it above? Is it a below? Hence the name. Are there games today or where are we beginning with the first one? Well, we've always got a game, right? But let's start with some fashion, what we might call casual jewelry, a beaded necklace. And it has some elements that look sort of floral. I like the colors. Those are complementary colors. The orange against the blue, which stimulate the optic nerve. Glass, multi-strand, multi-color. It's made by the Hobie brand, H-O-B-E. And they're known for these types of um, beads and, of course, this kind of casual summer, perfect for summer jewelry. Oh, man, I'm kind of stumped on this one. I don't know if we've ever talked about glass beads before, have we? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know if we have. A little bit. They're best known, of course, the Murano glass beads from Venice, Italy. Uh, this, of course, is a, a really nice example uh, double multi strands so or double strand and it, it's about 24 inches so it's you know it's kind of like good for that yeah uh, I you know like the dress you're wearing it'd be good for that kind of casual mm. but still a little dressed up oh you know what Dr. Lori if it comes to jewelry I, I tend to hold on to things that I probably will never wear just hoping <laughs> so I'm gonna go with my own crazy reasoning and say a no dumpster for this necklace no dumpster 100 bucks Hey, yeah, nice yeah. one. Nice People find. like glass. They like glass. They like glass jewelry. I have a glass pendant on, actually. They like glass as a jewelry or an adornment accessory. Okay. Well, good to know. I'm ready to go if you show us any more glass. Glad that's a no dumpster. What about the second one here? How about this piece? This is, a, um, of course, an equestrian or a horse print. Um, it's a color engraving from the early 1900s. Uh, Don Carlos is the name of the actual horse, a beautiful example. And of course, horse country, you know, near Tampa, a lot of folks, Alcala, that neck of the woods, a lot of people, of course, great equestrian and equine interest in that neck of the woods. Uh, so we're looking at this print. The print has a couple of staining issues, probably from a backboard that was acidic, but in general, it's in good condition. Any kind of a, a date or does it have a marking like a one of so-and-so at the top there? It, it's not numbered. That's a very good point. The, it's not numbered, uh, but this one dates to about 1900. And you can see it says plate one, which means it's one of more than, it's one of a series of plates of other historic and famous horses. Well, I got to tell you, my mom kind of grew up in racehorse world and oh. still is fascinated. I would not hear the end of it if I said that this was a dumpster. <laughs> so again, no dumpster for me. $150 for this one because you have it falling into more than one category. It's a print that people look for, of course, collectible prints, as well as elements that relate to horses. So that's great. Nice. There we go. Nice. Checking all the boxes. Well, finally, we've got about a minute left, Dr. Lori, for our last mm -hmm. item. Mastering the Art of French Cooking, of course, the famous publication by Julia Child. Um, some of these show up at thrift stores, are antique malls, estate sales. So look out for books. Uh, this one's from 1966, and it is an early edition of, of course, the, um, the famous cookbook. I think the key here, since you said that they do kind of pop up, would be the condition. How does the condition fare? Exactly. So you've got a little bit of problem on the dust jacket. But in general, the condition is very good. Oh, you know what, Dr. Lori, were you thinking all three no dumpsters today? Because that's where my third vote's going to fall as well. No dumpster as well. $500 for that. Oh, cookbook. that's right. Really? Yeah. And they tend to give you a little bit more lee leeway with cookbooks in terms of condition because you expect it to have been in the kitchen and sort of near the eggs and this kind of thing with the flour it can be a little bit. So we tend to give you a little bit of longer leash when it comes yeah. to condition of cookbooks. That's a very famous one. 
And some very good uh, condition and very good examples can go for a lot of cash. So look out I for your cookbooks. Know. I can tell, and I was thrown off, too, because you said there was a lot of them, but still, it doesn't matter if it's a known cookbook. Well, one more time, Dr. Lori, we want to make sure to share the information, of course, on our Facebook page, but also you can get in touch with Dr. Lori on her website, her YouTube channel. Dr. Lori, you pick the pictures for us each and every week. Let's do it again next Wednesday. That's right. All you have to do is send in your photos to the Tampa Bay Morning Blend Facebook page. It's easy to do. Thanks. Great to see you. Take care of yourself, okay? Thanks.